Let's make radish chips. They're good. Just not a lot of them all the time, raw. Gonna have to uh, invest in a mandolin to make chips. Okay, so these things scare the crap out of me. Okay, here's what I've got, and I save the rest for salads. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take like a few handfuls of these radishes, maybe. I don't know, that looks like enough. And I don't measure, it's called some, all right? So I'm gonna put some oil, some vegetable oil, because I don't have any olive oil. I don't know. Maybe a capful. I'm just gonna spread those around in my bag. And then I'm gonna put some sea salt, thyme, Some paprika. Some onion powder. I know this stuff comes out pretty good. And some garlic powder. Mm, I want to add one more thing. some cayenne pepper. Give it a little kick. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. Shake it, shake it. Checking to see if they're good and coated. I think that's good. So I'm preheating the oven to 350, I guess. And then I put these on a cookie sheet with some parchment paper. And then I'm just going to separate these out a little bit. They look good and coated to me. And then we'll put them in the oven. Let's check them after 10 minutes. Yeah, about 10 more minutes. Mmm, tasty though. I'm chopping vegetables to put in the freezer so we can use them for omelets, soups, stews, stir fries, whatever. Be careful when using a knife, you guys. I love that sound. I'm gonna make some navy bean with ham soup. Navy beans. That should be enough. Let's rinse these and pick out the bad ones. 
Okay, they've been nicely picked through. We're just gonna put enough water in it, a few inches from the top. Maybe a little less. Yep, that's enough. I was rinsing the beans when this went off, the alarm, so. It looks like I'm gonna have to cook them at a lower temperature for longer. It's okay, we'll start over. This time I added some MSG. I wish I had an air fryer, but that's just not something I can afford. It's fun to make though. Okay, we're gonna try again, but at 325. And we're gonna put them in for about 30 minutes and then we're gonna flip them. Okay, they didn't burn. But they're too done for me. I don't know. Holy cow, you guys. Actually, these are really good. Okay, so I'm thinking I need to get more air underneath them. So I'm turning it down to 300 this time. That's okay. It's all about failing first. <laughs> So that you learn how to do it right, right? At least that's how I learn. That's how I've always learned. What I did is I put them in the refrigerator for two days, sliced up so they dried out a little bit and it was perfect because I didn't want them to stick so much when shaking them in the bag and that worked. But why don't you look up a recipe? No. That one's softer. Still good. Doesn't taste like a radish anymore. It doesn't have that spicy bitiness to it that I don't like. I know you guys don't see me washing my hands, but I do. I wash my hands a lot. Believe me, I'm ADHD. I hate having things on my hands. Even water. Well, if I start the freaking timer, I just found the peanut butter on the bathroom counter. <laughs> Yeah, I need to take a break. <laughs> they look good so far. I'm going to flip them. Ooh, this one's crunchy. Oh, these are going to be good, you guys. Oh, yum. Definitely the MSG was the way to go. When I go to the food bank again next week and get my weekly veggies and stuff, I'm gonna have to get more of these. It's expensive in regards to an electricity bill, but hey, we're learning something new, right? Mmm, put them back. I'm only gonna put them in for like 10 minutes. Tastes like movie theater styled buttered popcorn.